Welcome to episode 103. Is going cheap costing you more? We all love a great sale, but when you build your wardrobe on nothing but items found on sale or at discount stores, you end up spending more money than you think. In this episode, I share how going cheap is probably costing you a lot more and what you can do about it. But first... Are you frustrated with your midlife middle? The muffin top or extra skin around your midriff that spills out of your waistband is just a fact of life. For those of us who have given birth, gained weight, or are just experiencing the changes our body brings with age. So suffice it to say, if you have a muffin top, you are not alone. But as common as muffin tops are, dressing to hide one can be a bit of a challenge. It's one of the most often asked questions I get as a style coach. I've created a video series just for you to help you know what to wear to look great and feel fabulous despite your midlife middle. How to Mask a Muffin Top is a fun video series I created with easy, actionable steps that are quick to implement and that you can do right away. Designed to give you exactly what you need to know how to hide that pesky bulge and feel confident again, How to Mask a Muffin Top is a wonderful resource you can go back to again and again. To learn more, click the link in the show notes and get ready to mask your muffin top stat. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique, and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome back. We are in the middle of July, and I cannot believe it. I want to share with you today some great tips that are going to help you shop all the crazy sales this summer, because, well, there are a lot of amazing sales. And I tell you what, if you do it right, you can actually leverage the sales to build your wardrobe and to work for you, not against you. I did that. I remember I've done, well, actually, I'm a huge sales shopper. I love sales. Uh, Really, I love the thrill of the hunt, but I also love to pay full price for something. I love to invest. And I think I think I just love to shop, really. (laughs) It doesn't matter what it is. But you know what? If I find something that's unexpected and I get a great deal on it, I'm like, ooh, I scored something. I'm a big fan of TJ Maxx and stores like that because I love the thrill of the hunt. Now, I also love luxury goods and I love investing. So I think it's just putting it all together. What I really love is putting together a mix that's all my own. But today we're going to be talking about going cheap and it's not always the best thing. But what I found is that so many women come in to the boutique and they go straight for the sale rack. Now that's fine. Sometimes I, you know, I I certainly have done that before, but what I've found is that if you build your wardrobe only shopping on the sale rack or shopping off price or going discount, Target, TJ Maxx, uh, Old Navy, things like that, then you're not actually building a wardrobe that's going to last. And here's the hard truth. You may be spending more money in your closet. I know that sounds crazy, right? But I tell you what, I had a client years ago, Angela, she called me up and she was really interested in the closet audit. And I, you know, I, I say, I've seen it all. I really have. And there's no judgment in anything that I talk about because we're all human and we all are here to just learn from each other. But when Angela called me, I told her what the investment was for closet audit. And she kind of wasn't sure. Basically, she said, well, it's a little more than I wanted to pay. I said, well, here's, here's some things for you to think about. I want you to think about how much money you've spent on the clothes in your closet. Go through, look at your receipts, look at your clothes, and think about how many of the clothes you're actually wearing now. Think about how much money you're throwing away on your clothes. And she went to go through some receipts, and she called me back a little while later and said, I can't believe what I just found. (laughs) And what she found were her credit card statements. And she realized, oh, it's, you know, $39.99 at Target and $29.99 at TJ Maxx and $42.99 at Old Navy and $54.99 at somewhere else. And what she realized was that it added up to be way more money 
than she thought she was spending in her wardrobe. But the sad thing was, she didn't have anything that she really loved. In fact, when she called me and I did, we did end up working together. And when I first went over there, I I didn't want to break her heart and say, oh my gosh, you're going to have to start over. But the quality of the clothes that she had been buying because she had been going cheap and I get it. I totally get it. I have been there. I remember when You know, when I first started as a style coach, I was going through a divorce. I was leaving my husband. I was basically a single mom and I had been a stay at home mom before then. So I didn't have a lot of extra money to spend on clothes, but I was very strategic and I practice what I preach and I'm going to share with you what I did today and what I coached my client Angela to do and how things totally turned around for her. But what I found is that so many women have it in their mindset that they're only going to go cheap, meaning they're only going to shop on the sale rack. And I have so many women who come in the boutique and they make a beeline for the sale rack. They come in and they're like, oh, where's the sale? That's it. Or they'll find, we usually have a sale rack out front. They'll find a couple of things on the sale rack. They come in, they try those on. They don't look at anything else. And I'm not judging that. But what I have found is that if that's the only way you shop, oftentimes you might be creating a more of a problem than you are helping in your closet. And what I found is that oftentimes when women buy things on sale, what happens? Well, sometimes we settle, right? I mean, personally, I have done this as well. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's been a very, very long time since I've done this. But you know, this you know, maybe it's a pair of shoes that almost fit, but they're such a good deal. You can't pass them up or a pair of pants that give you a muffin top. And you just think, well, I'm just, I'm on a diet right now. I'm just going to lose 10 pounds. They'll fit perfectly. And they're only $29.99. Well, guess what? Six months later, they're still going to be hanging in your closet, creating clutter and making you feel guilty. So oftentimes women will settle when they find something on sale because it's such a good bargain. So ladies, let me tell you this. It's not a good bargain if it's not something you'd pay full price for. If it doesn't fit you, if it doesn't flatter you. In fact, I'm going to encourage you to go back and listen to the five F's. I have a podcast called the five F's. I want you to go listen to that because that is all the things you need to be thinking about when you're in the fitting room. And I don't care if it is 99 cents If it does not meet this criteria, you won't wear it. You won't feel good in it. And it's just going to take up space in your closet. Now, how is going cheap making you spend more money? All right, let's dive into this. First of all, oftentimes if all you are doing is going cheap, and by going cheap, let me just clarify. Cheap to me is kind of a mindset. Cheap is, well, I'm not going to pay full price. And We could really dig into that, ladies, but we're we're not going to go there yet. But oftentimes, a lot of women think, well, I don't deserve to pay full price. My husband will get mad if he finds out I pay full price, or there's some guilt around that. And so I really want you to think about that, because that mindset really isn't serving you on a lot of levels. But when you have that mindset and you think, well, I'm just going to shop on the sale rack or, well, I'm just going to shop at TJ Maxx, Target, Old Navy. Now, let me just clarify. There is nothing wrong with TJ Maxx, Target or Old Navy. I love all those stores. In fact, (laughs) I was just in Old Navy the other day. Granted, I was shopping for my son and uh, I think I bought Jim a swimsuit. We're going to the mountains tomorrow and we're going to do some whitewater rafting and he needed a swimsuit. So uh, it was just easy. Dylan loves their shirts. He loves their Uh, He's really kind of developed a style of his own, and he loves this layered look, this sort of surfer look, and that's been a great place to shop for him. But you know what? I even found a pair of pants for myself that I'm going to wear for some hiking. And I walked in there. I had ordered online. I grabbed my package, walked out, and they left the sensor on my pants. I was so upset, so I had to go back. And anyway... I digress, but, um, but see, I even shop there. Now I don't buy a lot of things there, but I found a great pair of pants that are going to be perfect for hiking. And they're actually sort of a water repellent fabric. So I'm going to wear those when we do some tubing and whitewater rafting, and they're more like outdoorsy pants, but definitely something I didn't want to spend a lot of money on. They were on sale even better. 
And they're kind of cute too. They're little black palazzo pants, but they're cropped. And so for me, they're, this is going to be my hiking pants. Um, but anyway, I have nothing against those stores at all. I personally have bought things at all three of them. But here's the kicker. When you build your wardrobe around, especially Old Navy and Target, you're not building around quality. You're not building around longevity. Now, I'm not saying that a shirt or pair of pants from Target or Old Navy won't last you for a long time. However, what I have found is that it's not going to be the quality that you want to build your wardrobe around. Actually, I want to encourage you to go back and listen to, I'm going to give you two other episodes to listen to, really around wardrobe building. One is around core items and one is around accent items because I really want you to get what those items are. It makes all the difference. And so if you're building your core items, your core items are going to be those pieces you go to over and over and over again, ideally. And so if your core items are things that you bought on the sale rack at Old Navy, chances are they're not going to fit you perfectly. Or maybe you settled for a color that wasn't exactly right, or maybe the quality is just not there. So they may not be the exact piece that you need. And when you put them on, you might cringe a little bit and think, well, shouldn't have eaten that muffin yesterday. Shouldn't have that dessert at lunch today because maybe they're a little snug, or maybe you just haven't made it to the tailor to have them taken up that last inch and you use double stick tape, but it won't stay up and it just feels frumpy. So think about that. Your core items should be something that you invest in. And what I have found in my personal experience, as well as hundreds and thousands of my clients, when you can thoughtfully plan out your wardrobe, and you decide these are going to be my core items. These are going to be my pieces that I wear in, day in and day out. Maybe it's a great fitting pair of jeans. Maybe actually jeans are something I encourage you not to go cheap on. I remember when I first had a baby and then I went to go buy new jeans because, well, my body changed and nothing fit anymore. So I went to Old Navy and found a pair of jeans I loved. I think they were, I don't know, $34 or something very reasonable, which was great. Very enticing, but I wore those jeans maybe twice and then I washed them and they shrunk and they were too short for me. <laughs> and so I took them back. I demanded that, that they give me a refund because that was unacceptable. I followed the washing instructions. So that's another thing. If you ever get anything that doesn't hold up or doesn't last and you follow the manufacturer's instructions, don't be afraid to ask for your money back because that's on the vendor, really. But I went and asked for my money back because I knew there was something better. And that was really a big lesson for me not to go cheap. Plus, they stretched out. You know, when you put on a pair of jeans and they feel amazing. And a couple hours later, you're like, hmm, you're hiking them up. They fall down a little bit. Good jeans don't do that. Cheap jeans will do that. They will stretch out. And so when you settle for something that's not quite right, you're going to be replacing it more often. Because if it does shrink, or if it doesn't stay up, or if it's not the right color, or it's not the right fit, or finally you realize, oh my gosh, I'm not going to lose those five pounds, but I really need a great pair of pants. So what do you do? You end up going out and buying three or four more pairs, cheap pairs. I've seen it happen, ladies. Chances are it's, it's black pants too. <laughs> I have been in more closets than I want to count where women have had 20 pairs of black pants and they don't even know which ones fit them anymore, which is the sad thing. And that's what's causing you stress in your closet. That's causing you a lot of stress because you don't know what works. And who's got time to try all 20 of those on when you're getting dressed? That's just way too much. So I want you to think about making it easy for yourself. But this is where if you are at a place where you're starting over, if you're at a place where maybe you've lost weight or maybe you've put on some weight, and I'm going to tell you what, ladies, I'm going to give you a little bit of a pep talk. If I hear one more woman tell me I need to lose weight before I buy clothes, I am going to scream. Style is not a reward for losing weight. You deserve to look great right now. 
You are beautiful in the skin that you are in. Who says that you don't deserve new clothes because you've gained five pounds or 20 or 50? Who says your life is now, you're living your life right now and there are no guarantees for tomorrow. So treat yourself. It could be something on the sale rack. It could be full price. But I guarantee you, when you say yes to you, that you are good enough right now, everything will change for you. How you see yourself will change. Your life will change. Everything will change. You are good enough right now. All right, I'm off my soapbox. (laughs) Let's get back to it. But when you decide, when you're at a point where you're starting to rebuild, I want you to decide what are those core pieces? What are those pieces I'm going to wear over and over and over? Is it a great pair of jeans? Is it a pair of black pants? Is it a blazer? Is it great t-shirts? Is it yoga pants? I am not going to decide for you. That is up to you. But when you decide what are the pieces I'm going to go to over and over and over again, I want you to consciously decide to pay full price, to spend a little bit more money. Now, here's the great thing about sales season. You might decide, hey, I'm willing to pay full price, but chances are you're going to get a great deal because everybody's got things on sale. We're in the midst of our clearance sale at Style Finder. And I tell you what, (laughs) you can snag some great deals and our team will help you to understand what's a good deal for you. Don't buy it just because it's on sale. And once you know what your core items are, that's where you want to invest. You want to go a little bit more expensive. And then your accent items. These are your colors, your prints, your patterns. These are the things that give your wardrobe its flavor. This is where you can, you don't have to, but you can go cheap. You have my permission, not that you need it. But this is where I encourage you to go a little bit less expensive because those are the pieces you're going to be changing out over and over and over. Now, if you have pieces in colors that you absolutely love and you know, I am going to want to wear that for years to come, go ahead and invest in it. Buy a really good quality sweater in teal or a really great quality liquid leather jacket in magenta. If you know that's going to be a signature piece for me or if it's something that you love that you know you're going to wear, that's where you want to go inexpensive. But what I really love the sales for is a wardrobe refresh. Because when you have a good core wardrobe already and you have the basics, you like what's in your closet, you like what you wear, you like your style and you really know what your style is. And so what I love sales for is a refresh. Find a great sale, find a couple of great tops or maybe a cute pair of shoes or some accessories that can freshen up your look. You're not fundamentally changing it and you're certainly not replacing those core items. However, if you have a great pair of pants that you love or a great pair of jeans and they're a little bit more of an investment and you find another pair on sale, that might be a great opportunity to get a backup pair, to buy a second pair, to get an, you know to get something in a different color. Maybe you have a brand. I know a lot of women who have certain brands that are a little bit more expensive that they wait till they go on sale and then they add to their collection because it's a brand that they know, they like, and they trust. It's a brand they know I can go back to that over and over again. It's going to fit me. It's going to flatter me. And I know it's built to last. Maybe it's our liquid leather jackets. Rarely. Rarely, ladies, do those things go on sale. However, if you ever find one on sale, grab it. You know you'll have it forever. But certain pants, like we we recently had a, a sale on our Crazy Larry pants. Those are great pants. They're built to last. Women come in and they will stock up. And I had a lot of women come in coming in. We had a buy one, get one, half off. We had a lot of women come in and stock up on those. But this is a great time to come in, look at a cute top, look at a cute jacket, look at a cute dress, something that you would wear if you paid full price for it, but that, hey, it's a, you know, it's a great deal right now. So, or maybe it's just a last minute, something that you buy for a trip. You know, I mean, I'm not opposed to that, but I don't encourage you. I used to do this. I tell you what, if I, if I had a trip come coming up, 
before I was a style coach, I never built a wardrobe. And if I had a trip coming up, I would go out and I would just spend all sorts of money on clothes, money that I didn't really have. But I, because I felt inadequate, I felt that I didn't have the right clothes and I wanted to look good. And so I'd go and spend a lot of money on clothes that were right for the beach or right for New York or right for something else. And then I'd get back and I wouldn't want to wear them anymore because I was buying for the location, not for my lifestyle. And it was not a good investment for me. Then I had a lot of clothes that were cheap. (laughs) I had clothes that were good for the beach, but things I couldn't necessarily wear to work or anywhere else. So that was definitely kind of a waste of money for me. But I will say, if you do have a great vacation coming up, I mean, what we love to do at Style Finder, and we have done this, oh my gosh, for so many women. I've had so many people call up and say, hey, I've got a trip to Europe, Italy, wherever. And they want to come in and they want to get a capsule to wear for their trip. I am all for that. Why? Because I know at Style Finder, what we do is we help you to build a capsule That is not just a capsule you're going to use for your trip. They're going to be pieces you will wear there as well as when you come home. And because we use this formula, you've got your core pieces, you've got your accent pieces, and you've got items that multitask and all work together. You don't have a bunch of one hit wonders. That's the other downfall about shopping sales. You find things that you love. You absolutely love this gorgeous purple jacket. If, and you get it home, you're like, oh, I'm sure I've got something to wear with it. And you realize it doesn't go with anything in your closet. It might go with your jeans, but you don't have any tops that actually work with it. And so you think, oh, okay, I'll get something. And somehow you just never end up doing that. And so if that blazer was on sale for $49.99, then you know what? You have just wasted $49.99 doesn't matter what a great deal it was. It could have been $300. You're not wearing it. It is wasting time and it is taking up space and you don't need it in your closet. And so reluctantly you donate it, take a tax write off and vow to yourself, never, ever do that again. And so this is how going cheap can actually cost you more money because when you buy a lot of the wrong things, You're never actually buying the right things. And you still have that need. It's like, you know, when you're hungry and you eat junk food and what you really want is a satisfying, nourishing home-cooked meal. You want some vegetables, you want some grains, you want some protein. And what you end up eating is chips out of the bag. Way too many of them. Because you're so hungry, you're craving something. And so your body just keeps telling you, eat, 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 eat. But you're not getting the nourishment that you need. And then you eat way too many. You feel crappy, but you're you're still craving these nutrients that your body needs. It's kind of like how your wardrobe is. You need the right pieces in your wardrobe so you can create an outfit formula. So you can create a wardrobe capsule so you know what to wear. But when you just keep throwing in these one hit wonders or these, you know, things that you bought on the sale rack, or when you go cheap and you come home with another bargain, do you really need another bargain? Or do you really need to forego a few bargains so you can save up for that investment item? I tell you what, you're going to be far more gratified and satisfied when you save up for that investment pair of pants that you know you can create a hundred outfits with and that you'll have for years to come. That is going to be a huge difference. Now, I don't want you to skip out on sales season. I don't want you to miss out on the sales, but I do want you to shift your mentality and quit thinking about going cheap and start thinking about building your wardrobe. When you have a wardrobe strategy, it will change the game. It will change how you get dressed. And going Cheap on certain things can be part of the strategy. However, you have to be mindful. You have to plan ahead. And when you can do that, it will change everything. So stop going cheap. Start really being mindful. Start planning what you want to see in your wardrobe. 
and see what a difference it can make. If I can help you in any way, please reach out. I would love to guide you. Be sure and watch us on Everland Instagram. We're going to be shooting a lot of great content around this. And I guarantee you, you will learn something when you look at our Instagram feed. We've got great tips on body type, on wearing colors, on style, just fun style hacks. And you know what the cool thing is? I've actually learned a lot myself. So there's a lot of great stuff out there. But we are here for you. We want to empower you through personal style and help you look and feel your best. I will see you on the next episode. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.